Hi, it's Laura the Library Lady here in the Teen Lounge of the Maslin Public Library with our student librarian for the months of November and December 2024. Welcome. Would you like to tell us your name? My name is Destiny. Hi, Destiny. <laughs> How about letting everybody know your um, age and grade? I'm 16. I'm in 10th grade. Awesome. And Destiny has 10 books that she recommends, books or series. So um, I've only been able to pull a couple of them. A lot of them must be out, but also some of them are ebooks. So you were telling me um, that you like to read all kinds of books, paper books and ebooks, and which one's your favorite? Um, I prefer audiobooks just so I can do something while I'm reading. That's, that's cool, and <laughs> audiobooks count as reading, you know, they really do. So we've got a couple of your favorite authors here. Um, this one is Alice Oseman, and you had put down, um, I think, In the Forest of the Night, maybe? Yeah, that's... Is that an Alice Oseman one? I don't think that's one of her books. Oh, four. I think she wrote four. <laughs> I've got it wrong. Well, um, Heartstopper was another one that you liked. Yeah. Um, I know some of the ones that you put down on your list that you recommend to everybody are up here in the Teen Lounge or available as an ebook through our catalog, but some of them are also in the children's department. So I kind of like how you mixed it up. Um, did you read a lot when you were a kid? I, yeah, honestly, reading for me has been a way to be here in reality, but not have all the stressors of being here. <laughs> I like that. It's a lot. And I know a lot of people just want to escape, and reading has been that, where yeah. you can just be somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> so reading as a little fantasy escape. Um, you also put down something really, I thought, academic on your <laughs> um, paper that you filled out for why you like to read. So uh, do you remember what you put? or? <laughs> Do you want me to talk about it? Reading also broadens a whole lot of your vocabulary. You can learn just so many different words, and it's just really nice yeah. to read books. Even if you think it's above your reading capability, mm -hmm. I would say try to read it. Very good, yeah. Just so you can know the words that you know, and if you don't know the word, you can look it up and also use the words around it to figure out some new words, too. So you might learn something. <laughs> and do you do any type of um, creative writing? You sound like you might. I write a lot. Oh, too. I guess I love it. writing. Mm, that's awesome. I love writing. I love reading. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a writers group here for adults, and we're going to try some creative <laughs> writing workshops um, in the new year down at the Navarre branch. So that might be something you might be interested in. But um, how about if you tell everybody your favorite genres? Okay, so I'm more into fantasy. I'm trying to get into more horror books. Those are really difficult for me to enjoy. I'm not really of a I'm not really a horror person at all. <laughs> Try to though. It's your my choice. Family's a horror. They like it. They love horror stuff, and I don't <laughs> get it. <laughs> I'm not a horror fan myself, but you know, you've got a lot of stuff down here though, so. Keep um, going. Tell us more. There's also science fiction, more like the Divergent series that. That was a really good series. Yeah, you put to that read. down. Now on the second book of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, mythology, like Percy Jackson, Greek mythology, Roman mythology, things like that. Yeah, also, you've got the lightning thief is on your list. <laughs> yeah. Also, biographies. I read the Who Was books. Those were really mm -hmm. good books. Those are to cool read. series. <laughs> trying to get my sister into those books too. Yeah, she's younger, so she, she might like She doesn't really like chapter books, though. Oh, it's, no. It's like, come on. Oh, you're going to have to convince your little all sister. All the books are chapter books. <laughs> <laughs> and the Who Was series has those funny characters on the cover, so they they're do. funny. They also have, like, a TV series. It's pretty funny, too. I did not know that. A TV <laughs> series of the Who Was biographies? Uh-huh. Oh, that's well, awesome. They had a whole TV series. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Well, you've got um, an adult book on your list, The Mists of Avalon, which is kind of a classic. Yeah. It's from, like, 1983. <laughs> Um, and that's, um, tell me the mythology that's, that one, the, that's, oh, it's the Arthurian legend, yeah, right? It's Camelot. It's about King Arthur, yeah, but it's okay. the women behind his throne, which is so Ooh. interesting to get a woman's point of view on King Arthur, like a classic, a classic story that you know of and people have heard of all the time. You get his, you get his point of view. It's simple. <laughs> 
but how to get there? Like, what would happen before all of that? Mm. It just goes way back into Avalon and things like that. It's pretty cool. Just to get the women. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and see if I've read that one. It sounds familiar, but <laughs> I've, I've been around a while. I may have read it. Um, the Tale of Despero about the little mouse. Oh, I love that. That's it so, so cute. cute. <laughs> That's by Kate DiCamillo, and she's the same author who wrote um, Because of Win dixie which is a really popular one. So um, Among the Hidden, that's another good one that I think we find in the children's department. What's that one about? Uh, it's kind of a sci-fi? Yeah, it's more of a sci-fi book where a the whole society can, can't have more than two children, and it goes Ooh. into the third kid's life, where he's not really allowed to have one. He can't go to school, he can't go oh, outside. That's why he's hidden. He's not supposed to, he's not supposed to be. be alive at all, really. Creepy. And they all band together, all kids who were, weren't exactly supposed to happen. Ah. All right. Um, still pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good story. I mean, it's a classic one. Um, Kevin Crossley Holland is another author that you put down, um, The Seeing Stone. And I think that's one we have as an ebook. Um, anything else you want to talk about? Oh, what about Heartstopper? Heartstopper is this really cute. It's a teen romance one. book. Okay, cool. Where you got this shy little kid who's so in, <laughs> like, he's. He's in the band, he plays, he plays drums. He was so bullied, and I feel so bad for him. <laughs> so the character development in Heartstopper it must be really so good. good. <laughs> we start with the main character's boyfriend-to-be being this typical jock where you think they're super mean and all that stuff. And he's not, he's like super sweet. <laughs> But the kids on his team aren't as sweet, and so kind of a high school problem. Yeah, sounds good. All right. <laughs> well, I want to thank you so much for being here, and I do want to ask you what what do you like about coming to the library? I just love reading books, and a library is just a way. It's not home, but it's not school. It feels nice and relaxing to be here in a library going through all the books and reading all of them. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's awesome to hear. We love having you come into the Maslin Public Library. And I hope everybody out there will um, check out some of the books that you recommended for us. Hopefully they're pretty good books. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Destiny. No problem. If you're interested in nominating your child to be a student librarian, stop by one of our locations for more information or to sign up. One student librarian is selected every two months. As always, thanks for watching.